China has been stealing Americans' data left, right, and center. The Biden administration is trying to stop that, but is your data safe? Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. There's a saying in the tech world that if you get a product for free, you are the product. That means that companies that don't charge you for their software or app are probably harvesting your data and selling it to make up the difference. It's not just advertisers who can get their hands on your data, though. It could be anyone. Even I could have your data. Mark Hofstetter of 1711 Northwest Bend Street. It could also be foreign countries. Countries like China that shall we say, don't have your best interests at heart. The Chinese government is also making liberal use of hacking to steal our corporate and personal data, and they're using both military and non-state hackers to do it. We've all heard about Chinese cyber attacks, but what doesn't get enough attention is all the other ways China tries to steal personal data. Like during the pandemic, when a Chinese company offered to set up COVID testing labs all over the U.S., which would have been able to collect DNA and send it to China. That's crazy. Mainly because why go through all that effort when you can get all the genetic data you need just by scraping the walls in a Motel 6? Well, the Biden administration wants to do something about this. President Biden signed an executive order last month on blocking foreign investment in sensitive American technology. Now, the order wasn't specifically about China, but like the giant panda in the room, most people assume China was the reason. It'd be like passing a law that makes it a felony to steal cereal and saying it has nothing to do with the Trix rabbit. We know who this is really targeting. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Biden's order was directed at CFIUS, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. CFIUS is a U.S. government body that protects U.S. national security by reviewing, and in rare cases stopping, foreign investments in U.S. companies while ensuring that the U.S. economy remains open to most investments. CFIUS reviews often focus in an area of sensitive national security technology such as advanced computing, defense, or aerospace. So, if a Chinese company tried to buy an American defense contractor, like Lockheed Martin, for example, CFIUS would intervene. Yep, if China can't buy technology from the U.S., they're gonna just have to keep developing their own weapons the old-fashioned way, by stealing the technology from the U.S. Anyway, the order would also limit things like if a Chinese company tried to buy land near a military base, like what happened earlier this year. CFIUS has a pretty broad mandate. It's basically been told by Congress to protect national security. And that can lead to some unusual places, like how CFIUS forced a Chinese company to sell gay dating app Grindr because they thought Chinese authorities could use it to get sensitive information about Americans. Biden's new executive order gives CFIUS a list of specific areas to watch out for one of which is to consider whether a pending deal involves the purchase of a business with access to American sensitive data, and whether a foreign company or government could exploit that information. Like what happened with Grindr. And if you hear business with access to American sensitive data and you're thinking TikTok, you're not alone. CFIUS is reportedly looking at TikTok for just that reason. And India banned TikTok nearly two years ago over security concerns. TikTok is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance, and it's now the world's most downloaded app. The world's most downloaded app. That's concerning. Considering that Weather Puppy exists, it's an app that shows you the weather and pictures of puppies simultaneously. How has this not conquered the world? Speaking of things that want to conquer the world, the Chinese Communist Party. Like every big Chinese company, ByteDance has a Communist Party branch. They're also required by Chinese law to give the Chinese government any data they ask for. Leaked audio from TikTok meetings show that Americans' data has been repeatedly accessed from China. And its content moderation policies sound like they could have been lifted from Chinese state media. Moderators were told to remove references to Tiananmen Square. They were told to remove references to the Falun Gong religious group. They were told to remove references to Taiwanese independence. And these were all uh, phrased in terms of sort of trying to reduce 
political arguments on the site. They weren't explicitly done in a way that would make Beijing happy. If you want to learn more about TikTok's shadiness, check out this video we did on it. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, it's not clear how this new order will affect TikTok. As I said, Cepheus has already been looking at TikTok. This order didn't give Cepheus any powers it didn't already have. It basically just told Cepheus more explicitly what to watch out for. This executive order did a few other things as well, which I'll talk about right after the break. Welcome back. So Biden signed an executive order singling out American data security as a priority for screening in foreign investments. You wouldn't want your data falling into the wrong hands, would you, Mark Hofstetter of 1711 Northwest Bend Street? This executive order told CFIUS to consider whether any foreign investors have sought or have the ability to exploit such information to the detriment of national security. The executive order also highlighted the U.S. supply chain, technological leadership, cybersecurity, and patterns of investment that could threaten national security down the line. So that transmogrifier gun I made last year? Chinese company can't buy that now because that's a prime example of American technological leadership. Stick to your drones and supersonic jets, you noobs. The executive order listed a number of areas it considered critical to American tech dominance, like AI and quantum computing. I'm sure it's no coincidence that these are all areas that are part of the Made in China 2025 drive China started seven years ago. Made in China 2025 is about making China a leader in advanced tech, not just cheap knockoffs. Which is weird considering cheap knockoffs is their entire brand. This would be like if Arby's decided to be a leader in upscale, healthy dining. The Biden administration is also reportedly considering another executive order on U.S. investments in China. Investments that would, for example, support industries China considers vital to Made in China 2025. Yes, Americans are still funding the country that wants to replace the U.S. I'm not sure if that's just stupidity and greed or if we really have a death wish. Probably time the U.S. starts looking at China as the threat they are, and not being a living, this is fine meme. And now it's time for me to answer a question from a fan of the show who supports us on the crowdfunding website Patreon, or our exclusive social media platform on Locals. Space A's asks on Locals. Two questions, actually. In your opening montage, we see a man standing in front of a tank, no doubt at Tiananmen Square. Was this person ever identified? Two. You indicate that sometimes YouTube demonetizes your content. Does this occur when you indicate we'll be back after the break and there is no ad in between breaks? Also, if there is an ad, should we view the entire ad for you to get credit or just skip when permitted? Well, Space says, the man you're talking about is known as Tank Man. This picture was taken on June 5th, the day after the Tiananmen Square massacre, as the tanks were leaving the square. And this guy wasn't just facing down a few tanks. He was facing down hundreds after knowing the military had just killed thousands of people. Tank Man was eventually pulled away by bystanders, and he has never been conclusively identified. There are rumors about who he was and whether he's still alive. Some claim he was executed. Others claim he's never been identified by the CCP and is alive today. Probably the weirdest claim is that he escaped to Taiwan and was working at the National Palace Museum, which the museum denied. For now, Tank Man remains a mystery. As for your second question, yes, if I say there's going to be a break and you don't see a commercial, that means the episode has been demonetized. Or it means you have an ad blocker, or YouTube Premium. As for watching the ads, if you skip an ad entirely, we don't get credit for that. You have to watch the entire whole ad, or at least 30 seconds of a long ad for it to count. So thanks for your question, Spaces, and thanks for supporting China Uncensored on Locals. Check out our Locals page for exclusive content and how to help support the show. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.